Please help him. Don't just stand there. Do something. He's dying. I'm very sorry. What the hell is going on? The boy has no brain function, Dr. Sharp. Hasn't in weeks. Restarting his heart won't change the fact that he's already gone. That's not true. We were with him this morning. You can't just let our son die. This is a hospital. Please save him. Do you have a court order to withhold life support? Dr. Sharp? Do you? No. Then move. Wait. Go again. Clear. Oh, oh Lord, thank you. You didn't save him, you know. You just made it that much harder for his parents to say goodbye. We wish to resume Ollie's stem cell treatments as soon as possible. This morning was a setback, that's all. The treatment that Ollie has been receiving is still considered experimental. We're not giving up on our son. No, of course not. But Ollie has a rare neurodegenerative disease that's left him in a semi-vegetative state. The odds of a full recovery lie somewhere around one in a billion. So why did you save him? I mean, you brought him back. You must have thought he had a chance. I can feel him. Dr. Sharp, our boy is still here. We know the odds. All we want is the chance to try. I understand. Apologies. NHS Hampstead has received an order from the family division of the UK High Court. To do what? At 10 a.m. tomorrow, we are ordered by law to remove this child from his life support. Over my dead body. I am truly sorry. But the 1989 Children's Act gives the government the power to weigh in, and they are exercising that it's, right. It's impossible. Please, Dr. Sharp. He's right. It's the law. appeal the court's decision? I'd have to go on record saying I believe keeping Ollie alive is the best course of action, medically speaking. But you know his condition won't improve even with treatment. Yeah, the doctor in me knows that, but I'm also a parent now. How can I support a system that blocks a parent's right to, to try absolutely everything to save their child? If it were Luna, I would never accept that it was impossible. Well, I guess that's why the UK system has a committee of doctors to make that decision, so you don't have to. Well, he is gone, but I can still help his parents. You can't give them a legal right they don't have. No, but I can move them somewhere they do. I'm transferring Ollie to New Amsterdam. This will take you to the airport where a plane is waiting. Once you land at JFK, there will be an ambulance there waiting to transport Ollie directly to New Amsterdam. Thank you, Dr. Sharp, for everything. Just call me when you land. We will. Sharp. Stay back. Um, move, now. This child is not permitted to leave the hospital, ma'am. Excuse me? And anyone helping to push him across the threshold will be violating the law. Let me be clear. Under my medical advice, the Gardams have transferred their son's care out of they the country. They can't do that. Ollie Gardam is a British citizen whose welfare is protected by the court. And the court has determined, in accordance with the National Institute of Health and Care Excellence's guidelines, that artificially prolonging his life would be unkind and inhumane. The decision stands. By 10 a.m. tomorrow, life support must be withdrawn. Listen, this child's life has got nothing to do with Officers. the government. <laughs> no, stop! No, Step no, aside, ma'am, no. or I'll be forced to arrest stop. you. No! Take him. Please, stop! Please, stop. Please, stop. Please, stop. Please, stop. Please, stop. Please, stop him! Get off him! <laughs>